hello welcome to ss unitech susil this side and in this video we are going to see about the collect transformation inside the pi spark so what is the collect so collect is an action that return the entire data set in an array to the driver so what is the use of the collect so collect is an action hence it does not return the data frame instead it return the data in an array to the driver so for example we are having a data set and that data set if we are going to use the collect in the data frame then your entire data will be converted into an array use the loop for iterating each and every value inside the array and when we are not recommended to use it so whenever we are having the last data set so it's not recommended to use the collect because it will be going to convert entire data set into an array so that's why it is not required with the larger data set so let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical about collect so here i am going to create one of the data frame which will be having total two columns first column will be department name and second column will be department id so let me try to execute this command and we'll see the output so as you can see data frame is created now the requirement is we just want to loop through with all these rows so as of now we have not used the loop so it's very straightforward so we can use the for i in then we have to specify the data frame so data frame is df now here what we want we just want to print your i and here as we can see it is having two columns so let me print the value of department name column let me try to execute and we'll see the output okay so here's the colon is missing so we can add the colon and execute it so here as we can see it is not returning proper output because we cannot iterate by using loop directly with the data frame so the requirement is very straightforward we first we are required to convert this into an array then we can loop through on that array so how we can do that so simply we can use df dot collect here and let me put this into another data frame which is df1 and here instead of df let me try to print with df1 let me execute and we'll see the output of this so now we can see we are able to iterate with each row with one by one or here we can also specify the index so i zero will be the first column we can execute or we can go with i one for the second column which is the department id that we can see so i hope guys you have understood how we can use the collect and when we are required to use the collect transformation so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video